In a world where kitchens keep getting bigger and bigger, have you ever wondered what it would be like to cook in a tiny kitchen? Today we'll give you a glimpse of what it's like to cook in our renovated RV kitchen. We'll share with you five things that you need for your kitchen, open our cupboards for you, and share three things that we got rid of when we went tiny. Hello, I'm Emily and this is another episode of Less Things Big Dreams. Before we get started, if you're loving our content, please feel free to subscribe, like, and comment and let us know what you need to see next. We love to start every day with pancakes. It's our kids' favorite meal and if you're going to be cooking something consistently in an RV, do your best to make it simple and get the right tools to get it done quickly and efficiently in a small space. One of the things that we have to do that is this pancake batter dispenser. We just fill it on up and you can pump out the pancakes like nobody else. Another thing to consider in your home is the water that comes out of your tap. I'm putting this water in the pancakes. It goes in the bathtub, all of the things, and every single tap in our house is filtered by clear source. It leaves the good stuff and takes out all of the bad. And we sincerely love their products. some pancakes now um, we love our griddle we use it for a whole bunch of things it's great for grilled cheese pancakes um, a lot of people use it for bacon and eggs These pancakes are a little bit runnier than I normally make them but this makes it so fast and easy so another helpful hint is to do your lunch or dinner prep while those pancakes are flipping. So whatever you're waiting for in the morning, um, find something else to do while you're waiting. So today I'm chopping up some strawberries and I'm going to fill up some cups for yogurt for my kids. We're likely going to have lunch on the beach today. So I'm just going to pick out some super easy things for them to eat. Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. Here I go. beach and we thought we would share with you what's inside our cabinets. People on Instagram love when we show them what's in there. They're always curious about what they might need or want to keep for RV life. So we will get started with that. We are lucky enough to have four drawers in our kitchen. They're not super common so we just have silverware and straws here. This is our medicine cabinet and our essential oils. These are just our everyday utensils. And these are the less common utensils. 
in this cabinet right here we have some small appliances pots and pans below we have miscellaneous um, cooking items below our sink is where we normally store our ninja foodie we also have a few miscellaneous cleaning supplies and yeah it's a large space but an awkward space so storing something simple there is the best choice for us below our oven we have just some basic uh, plastic bags and things like that we have a large Dutch oven in our stove and in this space we have just a lot of miscellaneous baking supplies um, sugar salt all of the above another important aspect of any kitchen is food storage so I highly recommend looking for an RV if you're on the hunt for find one that has a space you can put all your food in one spot so we have our refrigerator we replaced our propane electric with a higher uh, counter depth fridge so it's a large amount of space and it works very well for our family and then we converted this space into a pantry as you probably saw in our RV tour this has worked so well for us it's nice to have all of our food in one place and we can keep all of it together and not wonder <laughs> where things are so curious though what is one thing you love about your RV kitchen and one thing you're missing so comment down below and let us know I really enjoy cooking and I will say that one of my favorite items in the kitchen has been the Ninja Foodie. We use this for everything. Whether we're making frozen chicken like I am tonight, making some frozen chicken breasts, uh, we make cookies in here, cinnamon rolls, I cook bacon in here because it helps keep the smell down in the small space. So there's a lot of great uses for it and not only is it a crock pot, it's also an air fryer, we do french fries in it, so it's just a really good staple and like Emily said, it is a big piece, but if you can imagine, it does so many things, it really helps to counteract that because you don't need to have a rice cooker and a crock pot, it's all in one, so that's one piece we really, really like. So I'm just going to grab some spices for our chicken tonight, we keep it really simple, but I wanted to show you while I'm at it two items that we have in this upper cupboard that we missed earlier. One are these puck lights. We have these. These actually come from Ikea. They take three AA batteries. And when we first got them, we just used normal batteries. But we've actually transitioned to the Amazon Basics rechargeable batteries, which have been great. So we have these all throughout the kitchen to help light up these dark cabinets. The second thing we have, this is actually in our main tour, uh, which is this spice rack. So I'll go ahead and grab our spices for tonight. But as you can see, it's a great, really convenient way to grab your spices. Once you're done, you just close the rack up, it's out of your way, and shut the door just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and get dinner into the Ninja Foodie for tonight. And seeing the Ninja Foodie on the counter really reminds me of a lot of the appliances and cooking tools that we got rid of when we went in Tiny. We're gonna share three of those things with you but before we share those things, I just want to remind you, that if you're getting value out of our videos, make sure that you subscribe down below, hit the notification bell, so that way every time we post a new video, you're notified right away and you can see what it is we're posting. Also, if you like this content, make sure you like it below. That just really helps us out. If you stuck around, you get to learn a little bit about what we got rid of when we went tiny. A couple of those things are going to be appliances. You don't have room for all of them, and if you're not really using them, they're not worth your space. So the first one that we got rid of was our KitchenAid mixer. There's not a whole lot a KitchenAid mixer can do that you can't do with a hand mixer. So that's what we decided to keep when we got rid of a lot of our kitchen things. The next thing that we got rid of was actually items that were replaced by our Ninja Foodie. So we had actually two crock pots, we had a rice cooker, we didn't even know we had it, and we got rid of all of those large appliances, or I guess technically small appliances, but when you move into an RV, they become large. And we got rid of all of those things, and now we have the Ninja Foodie, and it, I believe it has six or seven different functions. It's amazing, and my favorite thing to make with it is Pazuki. If you are a friend of mine and you've camped with us, you know what Pazuki is. 
Lastly, we got rid of anything that was oversized or multiples. You don't need a whole bunch of nesting bowls, Pyrex, stainless, and all of the variety. Pick one set that you really like or something that's light and simple to travel with. And you'll replace all of those oversized things with items that are small. So pans like this are great. You can put multiple dishes in the oven if you want. We use these on our Traeger and they make the world of difference. So scale down some of your cooking items when you go tiny. All right, if you made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Let us know if you have any questions or comments. We are here to answer as many or all of them if we can. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks. Bye.